Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Kodeza Arcade. In today's video, I will be explaining one of the built-in data types in Python that is set. You guys have already come across with other built-in data types such as list, tuple and dictionary. So set is also another built-in data types in Python. Today I will be explaining about this. So before moving to set, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates or notification. Okay, let's get started. Okay, what do you mean by set? Okay, set means unordered collection of items. A single variable contains multiple items. Unordered collection means the items which do not have a defined order. That means we cannot be sure in which order the item will appear. Suppose if I run this program, see here, in console, we are getting the output as Python, programming, software testing and coding. But while writing program, see here, coding is the first element and programming is the second element and software testing is third element and Python is fourth element. But in console, we are getting Python as first element and programming as second element. So this is not in order, right? So that's why I told you set is an unordered collection of items. That means the items do not have a defined order. This is not in order. That's why it is unordered collection of items. And remember one thing, set is always represented with curly braces. Okay. And let me explain you different operations in set. Okay. In this third line of code, here I am printing len of set. That means it determines how many items a set has. That means in this current set, how many items it has. If I run this program, see you. Four, four, right? Obviously, four. Coding is first element, programming is second, and software testing is third item, and Python is fourth. So it is four. Lenoff set. And next operation is set dot add. That means this Java is going to add to this current set. Java will be added to the current set. So if I run this program, output will be coding, programming, software testing, Java and Python. So it will be in unordered. See here, software testing, programming, coding, Java and Python. So this Java is added to the current set. That means dot add Java will be added to this set. So this is one of the operations you can perform in set. And the next operation is set dot remove. Dot remove. Remove means this item will be removed. That means programming item will be removed from the current set. So if I run this program, this programming won't be executed. See here, the output is coding, software testing, Java and Python. And this programming is removed. That's why in output, we are not getting the element programming. So this is how we can use dot remove operation. And after that, set dot clear. That means it will show empty set. See here, set with no items. There are no items inside this set. That is why set dot clear. So add means the particular element or the particular word or value will be added to the current set and remove means in this given set any one of the value or item will be removed and set to dot clear means empty set. It represents empty sets and here in this set 1, 2, 3 variables here I have taken integer, float and also boolean. 
that means set items can be of any data types it contains different data types such as in the first line of code here i have taken string and second year in eighth line of code i have taken integer and this is float and this is boolean so from this we can say that set items can be of any data types it contains different data types if i run this program see here 1 2 3 integer and this is float and this is boolean and one more thing in set is duplicate values will be ignored in set that means duplicate value in the sense sets cannot have two items with the same value or with the same name suppose if i take here python and now if i run this see here still it is showing python coding software testing programming in the console that means even though i added the same name python but in the output we are getting python as a single element that is why i said duplicate values are ignored in set that means it is not allowed same sets cannot have two items with same value or with same name duplicate values are not allowed okay guys this is all about sets that is built in data types in python in the next video i will explain other concepts in python so please stay tuned for that and also subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon for future updates or notification thank you